guys and welcome to today's video. Today is day four of Naked Week. Naked Week, Naked Week, do 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 do. Get the lights, get the lights. Anyway, um, day four of Naked Week. <laughs> if you have not, I don't know if this hairstyle's working. I haven't done this with short hair. Uh, so, don't know if this is working. Sorry if it's not, but it's happening. I feel like it looks like I've shaved my head when I do this. I look like a boy. Anyway, day four of Naked Week. Um, if you haven't been watching Naked Week, then please do catch up in the playlist. The playlist is linked here. Naked Week is not where I get naked. I say it's in every single video. Just so you know. I'm sure you don't think that. But just so you know. So being that it is day four of Naked Week, I'm going to use the fourth Naked palette in the Naked palette series. Naked, Naked, Naked. Urban Decay Naked. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked. Smoky. I don't know why I said it like that. That was actually creepy as hell. Okay. Um, Smoky palette. I don't know what I think of this one. I feel like this is so drawn and everyone hated it when it first came out. So I'm very interested to play around with it today. I haven't touched it in a while. So getting into the box. Yes, I keep every single box. I've said it in every single video. I'm a hoarder. Okay. I'm a makeup collector. Um, the box looks like this. It's really really uber pretty with all this like smokiness going on and this was like the first palette that I'd say kind of they've carried on the packaging in this fashion ever since so the first one is obviously the velvety feeling that was stopped immediately after that one then the second and third were like a tin fashion with like clicky tin things and then they went on they evolved into this plastic magnetic situation. I feel like this packaging was so underrated and it was just so beautiful like in the back it's transparent you can see all the pans in there but it's got like this smoky can you see that like that smokiness to it it's really quite cool and very unique um, and it was really cool I really, really liked this packaging when it came out I thought it was very sensual very sexy very nice and it just looks like this inside. Obviously it comes with the mirror and the brush that all of the Naked palettes do. And I feel like this palette was, again, the first one that didn't have light to dark in terms of shade range. It had like light, it had, you know, light to dark in the middle. It has more mattes. It's just completely different. It's just completely different from what they were releasing. And I feel like this was the starting point where Urban Decay Naked series took a bit of a turn, they kind of ran out of options, they'd done like the cool tones, the neutral tones, the warm tones with that rose gold, and then they were like, let's just do something different. Let's just bring out this full-on smoky palette. I don't think it's naked. <laughs> like, a smoky eye, these shades, I don't think is naked, but I, at the time, really, really liked this palette. I especially liked the shimmers and the lighter um, colours, but I feel like I'm more confident with makeup now to the point where I feel like I can rock a black eyeshadow and not worry about what I look like. I am confident with it. To the point where I'm wearing like this tie-dye black shirt today so I'm feeling punk rocky and smoky. I feel like it's a good reflection. So yeah. This palette was released five years ago. I'm just picking up the shadows now on my fingers. This palette was released five years ago in 2015. I think it was like June or July. I think it was July 2015. So um, I feel like it was not that long ago actually when I say five years ago it sounds long time ago and it feels a long time ago but I suppose it's not it was only five years ago the first shade we have here is high this beautiful metallic sort of pinky sort of sheeny color the second shade we have here is dirty sweet this beautiful bronzy metallic shade and then the third shade we have here is radar which is this deep chocolatey more like milk chocolatey brown grungy colour. Really, really nice. I've definitely noticed the quality of the shadows change from the previous palette. These are far creamier and far less powdery. We then have the shade Armour, this one right here, which is kind of a silver with a brown base to it. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, we then have Slanted, which is this grey... Oh, sorry, a bit messy there grey like blue toned grey metallic-y satin I'd say more of a satin shade um, and then we have dagger which is this grey matte very like ship grey battleship grey very very nice we then have the shade black market which is this black matte 
which is probably the best black matte I've seen so far in the Naked collection. We then have the shade Smolder, which is this purple... Oh, wow, it's a very grey toned purple. In the pan it looks far more purple. Wow! Is that right? Smolder? Yeah, it's like a purpley, a purpley grey. Very pretty. I mean, completely different in the pan. Um, we then have the shade Password. Oh god, the placement of that is a bit odd. But this is more of a light, very light grey, kind of taupey undertone. We then have the shade Whiskey, which is this um, cool toned brown. Uh, and that's a matte shade. It's not swatching very well, sorry. Maybe I've not picked up enough there. It's like a cool toned, maybe neutral brown. We then have the shade Combust, which, I mean, this is very similar to my skin shade, so my skin shade, my skin colour. Um, it's, oh, you can barely see it. It's like a tan-ish, neutrally, well, it's my skin colour. I was going to say skin colour, but that, like, my skin colour. Um, and then finally we have the shade 13 on my elbow here, which is this matte white. Um, can you just last see it there? Do I need to do another layer? You can maybe just about see that, but yeah, from the swatches you can see this is a very smoky, grey, brown, grungy palette. You can actually see more of the purple when I draw my hand back a bit more, but yeah, a very grungy, smoky palette. I feel like they executed it well in terms of colour. I just feel like people weren't ready for this at the time. People weren't ready for smokiness like this. That bronze is so beautiful. I feel like we've got two colour stories here, a brown and a grey. So I feel like I'm going to do like a a brown smoky eye and a grey toned smoky, smoky eye, so yeah, that's the plan. Okay, swatch is rubbed off now, I am clean. Um, like I said, I'm going to do like a brown eye and a grey toned eye, I think. That's where I think I want it to go because I, I see options if I do that. So I'm going to do the brown toned eye first, I think, maybe, I don't know, brown toned first, but okay. Combust, this one right here, very close to my skin tone. I mean, in terms of shade, it's not my skin tone because it's got a cool topiness to it, but I'm gonna use this to kind of create a bit of a shadow. You know I like to do this. If you, if, you know, if you watch these videos, you know that I like to create a bit of a, a shadow to my eye, almost contouring my eyelid. It just helps me like map out a look and I always feel like it's the first step and whatever I do, it just kind of gets me into the confidence of putting eyeshadow on. That sounds stupid, but it like gets me into the groove. It it, it gets my processes going. Also, do I just want to zoom in or do I, do I want to be rude? Do I want to be rude? Let's zoom you in. So rubbish at this. I'm so rubbish at this. You're gonna have to bear with me. But I've got a bit of scotch tape, um, and I'm just gonna use this on my eyes and try and create a really uh, sharp wing. I'm so bad at this. I also um, put this on my hand first to take away the initial tackiness of it. I don't straight away put this on my eyes, otherwise you'll literally pull your entire lower lid off. Well, I mean you won't, but it won't be pleasant. I'm going to start off by putting radar with my finger all over the lid, um, but trying to avoid the outer corner if I can. But I just want to put this all over the lid to start off with. On a little flat shader brush, I'm going to take Dirty Sweet, this, um, I don't want to call it copper, it's like a bronzy, very, very pale bronze, um, and I'm also going to wet this as well, I think, and I'm going to put this, where am I going to put this, on the, like, most inner portion here, and use it as an inner corner highlight as well. taking a tiny bit more of a radar and just kind of blending that in together a tiny tiny bit just so it kind of goes in seamlessly 
you can kind of see the shade difference. It's funny, on the eyes these are just not as metallic as when you swatch them, but they're very like satiny and sheeny. They're pretty. They're just not in your face metallics like you get nowadays. Okay, and then I'm going to take Whiskey, the brown there. I've got like quite a big pencil brush, it's like quite loose, it's not too dense. And I'm just going to drag this there, I think, and kind of... I'm, I'm, I want to say wing it out, but create a really grungy, smoky wing that kind of takes up half the lid. With the same pencil brush, I want to go into Combust, the one that's kind of like my skin tone, and just blend out the edges of this. Well, we can all have a funny moment in a minute when we all remember the time that I did wings the size of an aeroplane on my face. God damn. Do you know what? I packed away that pencil brush, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Black Market, because I mean we're here now. We're here. I'm going to go into Black Market, the black one. You better believe it. We're going into the black shade. My eyes are watering, because this tape is irritating them. And I'm going to just tap this on the outer corner and a tiny bit just like on that on that little bit here and then we can take off this tape <laughs> please work please work please work in the mirror oh, oh I mean it took half of my concealer with it but I mean it worked okay now that that's kind of done I'm gonna take whiskey again but really really lightly this time and kind of just join it up with my outer corner on my lower lash line, but I don't want to drag it and smoke it too much because there's a lot going on at the top lid here, so just a tiny bit. I'm also going to just take a tiny bit of Combust, the one, this one here, on a fluffy brush and just kind of drag it across the lower lash line. I have already done this at the very beginning, but just kind of drag any product around. Again, I don't want to smoke it out too much, but just, I don't know, just add a little bit of depth, a bit of smokiness. And then I'm gonna shove 13 on the brow bone. 13 is that creamy white shade. And yeah, this is the brown look. I'm gonna go shove mascara and the lip on and we'll talk about this look. Okay, here I am rocking this very, warm toned brown well warm toned browned lip um this is colourpop ultra satin lip in tansy i don't think i've worn this for a very 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 long time so today's the day i actually kind of like this look it's so grungy so out of my comfort zone but i'm kind of feeling it like there's something about it that's that's with this t-shirt i'm kind of like yeah i, w I wear these colours every day yeah i'm wearing a brown toned lip that's audacious kind of like the colour of my eyes. Actually, no, my eyes aren't this orange. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Yeah, I'm going to go buy some milk in a minute. Like, that's, that's the feeling I get. Um, I have loaded on the mascara. I was going to put lashes on, then I was like, no, do you know what? This look doesn't need lashes. I'll zoom you in in a second. Um, so I've, like, loaded on the mascara, and actually I kind of like this very harsh wing-shaped look. I feel like it's very simple, but it's very grungy, and... Smoky? I don't know. Grungy, yes. I'm gonna just keep saying the word grungy. Also, this lip, I feel like if you took the lip away, the effect is still there. Like, you could go with a hot pink lip. This would look really cool with a hot pink lip, actually, would it? I think it would. I think it would look very cool with a hot pink lip. Please ignore my base makeup, because I feel like it's a mess, because it's, it, it's hot and I'm mildly sweating, so I have upper lip sweat don't judge me um but i really really like this look i think it's really cool this is kind of a bit wonky but you know just look at this eye maybe i don't know what do you think kind of smoky kind of cool kind of grungy i want to keep saying it i'm not mad at it uh, by any means i quite like it in fact let's dive into the blacks and the greys and like that purple perhaps because that looks really really awesome so yeah let's get into those 
makeup is off. My eyes are red raw because I had to soak them in hot water to try and melt the mascara off because I put so much on. Wow. Actually, can you still see a bit of shadow there? Is that shadow? Did I miss that? Is that just my skin being bruised from how much I'm tempering with it? Perhaps. <laughs> We're gonna go into password. This gray matte with a fluffy brush. And if you can guess what I wanna do with it, you're right. Only putting it through the crease. <laughs> that base grey down. We have got a, like a deeper grey dagger which I could go into because that's the one I've just gone into um, password. What was that? A brush. I just had in my hand. Um, but we could go into dagger which is slightly darker and maybe like build into black market perhaps. But I also kind of want to take schmol schmolder. Schmolder? Smolder? This purpley can you see that like the purpley gray but i don't want this all over my lid so i'm gonna take smolder on like a fluffy brush and smoke this on my lower lash line oh my god i've just realized it wasn't my brush that fell out it was the pan <laughs> look <laughs> how sad I need to glue that back in oh damn it I'm going to go into dagger this one right here um, we need to go into password which is more of a taupey grey but we're going to go into dagger which is more of a blue toned grey and I want to do a halo eye I think so uh, yeah yeah so drawn between slanted and armour these two here which one do I want to apply to my eyes I feel like this one's more glitzy but then slanted is more blue toned um hmm a mix of both I think I'm gonna take a smidgen of high, this one here. Um, just like a fluffy brush and pat it over the center to try and add a bit of brightness to this. I'm also gonna go back into dagger as well, just to kind of re-intensify the outer and inner corners there, just because I went a bit messy. <laughs> And then maybe I can take a tiny bit of black market, a tiny, tiny bit on a small brush, go to the very outer and very inner parts of my eye, perhaps. I don't know, make it up as I go along, really. take the shade 13 the matte white and just go on my brow bone and just a touch kind of tap out a little bit I'm also going to add high this one here it's like the pinky metallic and just add that on top on the same pencil brush I'm just going to put a tiny 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 bit of that right where my lashes are the center like where the light would hit the most I'm going to go put some lashes on put a lip on and I'll be right back Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I've got a big, mahoosive pair of lashes on. I've got the Colourpop Shorty lashes on, the Colourpop Shorty lashes, and the Huda Beauty Venus liquid lipstick. I'm not sure if it actually goes very well, but yeah, well, I can't be bothered. It's like past midnight now. It, I'm tired. I forgot how much I really liked this, and actually it all blended well nicely, and it's like a grungy, smoky dream. I mean, look at me. Do I not look like I'm ready to listen to some, like, deep emotional music? 
because I feel like it. I actually quite like it. It's like this halo-y, halo kind of eye. It's very blue toned grey, but I really, really like it. I think it's kind of cute. My lashes are popping out a little bit, but hmm. So that is it. That is it from me in terms of the Naked Smoky palette, or the Naked 4, the fourth Naked installment, the fourth day of Naked Week. This is it. This is the Naked Smoky. I actually enjoyed this palette far more than I thought I did, or thought I was going to, and I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm surprised, and it's inspired me to play around with it again. I need to open it again at least once more to glue that shadow back in. So yeah, that is it. Naked Smoky. Really, really like it. What are your thoughts? Do you own the Naked Smoky? Did you own the Naked Smoky? Did you ever think about buying the Naked Smoky? Naked Smoky, Naked Smoky, Naked Smoky. <laughs> I really like this palette. I think this is really great. Um, I forgot what it was like and I'm glad I played around with it today. I feel a bit more inspired for grungy tones like this. Um, and that's made me really happy because I feel inspired by my old makeup, which is the whole point of Naked Week. And yeah, really really happy talk to me below about the naked smoky palette and if you bought it if you played around with it is it like your best palette that you ever bought because it could be thank you guys so much for watching thumbs this video up if you are enjoying these videos and if you have specifically enjoyed this video today all of the makeup that i have been wearing on my face will be linked down below or listed down below in the description bar so do not forget to check that out if you want to know anything that is on my face thank you guys so much for watching really really do appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on more content from me no you would not no you would not friend thank you guys keep well and stay safe and i will see you in my next one bye